I am curious, what is the status of sleeping dogs? Because you've talked about that before, you know, based on the video game. Do you think that's going to happen? I'm still hopeful. I mean, they, every day they tell me it's going to happen. <laughs> I'm tell, I've been hearing from uh, my, my um, co-producing and collaborating with Neil Morris and Toby with, uh, uh, with their company and uh, currently with talking with a couple of uh, big platforms. So, and they tell me every single day it's going to happen. So we'll see. Like I said, I'm, I believe in destiny. So <laughs> if it's going to happen, hopefully happen the first half of next year. Can I ask you, what is it about that property um, that says, I want to make this? Is it, have you played the game? Do you, have you read a script that you really like? Honestly, it, it was like this. I did a very, I did a film that I'm not very proud of. <laughs> we all made some shitty films, right? I made a film called uh, The Iceman uh, a few years ago, right? One of the producers came to me and said, oh, you know, Donnie, I saw this game. This game is perfect for you. Sony game. And he showed me the, the cover. And the guy actually looked a little like what I did in my other films, right? And I looked at some of the clips, the way they fight, hey, there's some of the, my moves. And, he, and then I did some research and I found some article saying that the person, this group of people who created this game, created the world, they want their fans are mine. And they pretty much borrow some of my actions and even the image, you know, kind of. And I said, oh, that's, that could be a fun vehicle because, like I said, I was caught in the 12, 13 years of the eight man image that I want to go back to action, contemporary action. And when I look at this material, I said, wow, this could be a perfect action, like contemporary action world that I can, I can do. And it's, it's already have a uh, fan base, right? It, it, it's uh, internal, internal affair, infer, uh, to, uh, you know, Flashpoint, uh, you know, it got all those elements, kind of like Rage and Fire, but even more edgier because I'm playing it undercover. So I could do so many things, right? It was very, uh, at the time, it was very, uh, you know, I was really uh, attracted to it. And then the, the rice went back and forth and back and forth. And, and I tried to inquire to Sony's and, and it costed too much and they wanted too much money. And it went back and forth and back for years, right? And then uh, I got a call from uh, New Rest a few years ago. They said they got the properties. Then we started talking. And it's been a few years. We've been talking and talking and talking and talking. You know how slow it is. In Hong Kong, we make like five movies already, right? And we're still in discussion, you know? I do own the rights of the filmmaking. So I want to let you know that, right? I own the rights, you know, and I have full intention and still wanted to do it. And, but how the story is going to go, uh, is it going it's, it's to base on the, the game or uh, maybe some elements is we uh, uh, tracks, uh, tracks uh, from the... the from the games, but most likely you're probably gonna make a more of a modern, like an updated version of, of Sleeping Dogs. But I'm still in every bit of in, in ambitions to, to want to make that because I invested many years of uh, kind of uh, uh, into, into this, this projects and, and I'm not backing out now and they, and they and they promised me, they, they tell me every day it's going to happen. So we'll, hopefully it will happen. So because I don't want to promise the fans and they, it's not going to happen. But it looks like it's going to happen. Is, wait, did you say that you own the rights or Neil Moritz owns the rights? The movie making rights, uh, the making that right, this, this, I own the script. Okay, got it. I understand. Well, the other thing about the property is that, and, and maybe you agree with me and maybe you don't, I've always repeatedly said you need a cool title. And if sometimes these movies come out and they have a terrible title and it, it, it just immediately for me, I'm like, you could have done better. Sleeping Dogs is a good title. Yeah. Sleeping Dogs is a good Oh, by the way, I think I own the, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I want to address that. You know, I think I own the, uh, uh, the movie making uh, uh, because there's a couple ownerships. I own the, the title as well. 
Oh, so <laughs> yeah, you've gone full force. You're really, you're serious. You, you want to make, well, this. you know, I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're, gonna do it. we're gonna do it all the way. We're gonna do it all the way, you know? Have you had any conversations with the game company about possibly if this thing gets off the ground, you know, making a game based on the movie using the title? So like Sleeping Dogs, colon, whatever it may be. I have a lot of uh, different conversation with uh, so many, so many people involved to a point where, to, let me just get this movie going first. <laughs> because it's like, you know, uh, I don't want to lose my fire, this raging fire, I, where, where I still have a bit, you know, we still have with sleeping dogs. And I think I can, I can really, uh, I think it's going to be a really uh, uh, fun. I can vision, uh, vis visualize the, the the whole look of this film. It's going to be a, it's going to be something very special. But let me just focus on getting this film made first. <laughs> 